What is going on everyone, Radice here, and today I'm with my good friend Umar Khan. What's up guys, it's your boy Umar. And if you guys don't already know, Umar actually bought his first investment property at the age of 21. So first off, congratulations man, it's actually Bro. insane. If you guys haven't been following along, me and Umar met probably like what, around this time last around year? Around this time last year, yeah. And already I've just seen so much growth in this guy, so it's insane. And today, he's actually going to break it down and give us kind of like a step-by-step -step rule, or I guess instructions on how he went about buying his first property. Again, by himself, no handouts, no daddy's money, none of that. So Umar, man, honestly, just, just take it away. All right, guys. So... The first thing is, guys, it's, it's mindset, you know? Um, that's what Radice always had. That's why we connected so easily because yeah. he had the mindset right. And at a young age, I got the mindset right too. I started reading books, doing a lot of personal development things because what that will do is that will open up so many doors to you. You'll meet cool friends like Radice. You know, you'll have a nice team around you of, of supporting people. Uh, people in your life too, they'll start getting serious. They won't, like, they won't kind of like pull you off track because a lot of people have the excuses like oh my friends don't do this you know my friends are into breeding and stuff mm -hmm. doesn't matter when you're involved either they're going to join you or they're not going to they're going to leave you let you be that should not be an excuse so number one no excuses change your surroundings right and number two is money guys at the end of the day <laughs> like that's that, that that's the main thing if you don't have money go get a job right you don't have to get a fancy degree i don't have a fancy degree i went to college for like a year mm -hmm. to a program that like most people go late like everybody in my class was like 30 plus because it was a such a program where people went after. So, go, like, go study something or go get a job. Do you, you want to say, like, what that program was? Yeah, I actually went to become a licensed optician. Yeah. It's two years in Ontario, one year in BC. Um, yeah, you go, I went, I studied. It was a great time. For me, it was really good, too, because, like, I was talking these too, I was really shy growing up. There's no way I was able to, like, connect with people because I grew up in, like, a tight Indian community where, like, we were just, we were family our whole life. We'd go with our cousins. We'd go with our mom and dad. Mm -hmm. There was no a lot of friends, right? And my parents, like, they didn't let us go to sleepovers and stuff. So there was not a lot of friend interactions and mostly family. But for me to leave all my family behind and go become isolated was crazy. Mm -hmm. I learned how to network. I learned how to meet, like, like-minded individuals where yeah. it's, like, you don't just have to meet people that are related to you. You know, you can make boys and strangers. <laughs> That's the big thing I took away from it. It really made me social because, again, I I said everybody in my class was 30 plus so for me to go out make friends my own age was uh something where i had to take a step forward to do and go out myself and the next thing is so we got funding down we have uh your mindset down um the next thing would be like qualify for a mortgage right and me and radice we talk about this too so if you can't qualify for a mortgage you can always jv with someone who can mm -hmm. you're always going to find someone who has money or someone who has financing so that's again not an issue but the way you do that is kind of like how I didn't really meet Radice at a network event, but you can meet Radice at a network event. Yeah. You know, you catch this guy every what every fourth of the every every fourth week of the month at um, Austin's, Austin's event. event yeah. right? Literally, <laughs> that's how you can find it. if you're looking for where Radice is. That's where he <laughs> that's is. That's where I am. That's where it's supposed to <laughs> <laughs> rise now. But literally, guys, there's guys like me, there's guys like Radice, young people like our age that are out there hustling. It's just a matter of going out and finding them. And there's literally, there's no excuse for, oh, they don't do this in my city. Oh, they don't know. They do it everywhere. Right? Mm -hmm, yeah. There's people like that everywhere. Go out and network. Make, make, make friends with people because you might just, you know, you might just graduate from high school, right? And I was confused when I graduated from high school, right? You might be too. But if you start building a network now, you start saving money now, you start having employment history now. Like, that's the steps you need to go out and buy a property, right? And the last step would be finding a deal. You know, Radice is really big on off-market. You know, he closed the off-market deal before. He's a real estate agent, too. Uh, there's guys, again, guys like Radice who could set you up with someone who's off-market. Uh, me and Radice have some, some business plans in the future, and, like, we're connected with somebody who does off-market deals. Mm -hmm. So, again, like, guys, like, there's, there's a matter of, you know, money for sure, job employment for sure, but find the right deal. Don't go buy the first thing you see on MLS, right? Yeah, like, yeah. MLS should, uh, there's nothing wrong with MLS. There's a lot of stigma behind, oh, there's no deals on MLS. No, I got my first property on the MLS, and it was like a, and we were just doing the numbers, it's a solid bear. Mm -hmm. Um, But you could find deals on MLS, but don't restrict yourself to just one thing, right? Oh, I only want to do, like, I only want to do rental properties, or I only want to do flips. I I only want to go MLS, only want to hold, no, open your options for everything and see what comes to you. Um, and yeah, I think like if you could take those things, like you could go so far with just that alone, like networking, mindset, having good people around you, having your money ready, like those are the key steps that I use personally yeah. to, to buy my first rental property. Yeah, and like if you're a subscriber, you already know, usually I like to do like property walkthroughs and whatnot. So Umar did actually buy his property in Chatham. We will get down there and I will show you guys what it looks like, all the stuff, but Umar, just for now, do you mind breaking down the numbers just to let sure. people know, like, you know, how you, like, what the actual numbers are and why it makes sense? Alright guys, so I purchased the property for $140,000, um, and then the rents, so right now, two of my units are actually rented out, and third unit is way too big. Hold on, so, you bought a triplex? I bought a triplex, oh, so, <laughs> a bit too fast there, okay, so, <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's try it again. Try it again. Talk about what your down payment was. What you um like like in detail. So in detail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so the property I bought was a single family home that was converted into a triplex about 20-30 years ago. And a triplex is? It's a legal triplex, so it's three separate units there you go. Inside, of a, inside of a house. So mm-hmm. instead of having one door, you have three doors, you have three separate tenants. And they're not sharing, they're completely separate. Separate kitchen, bathroom, living areas. So the only time they see each other is outside the property, not, not inside at all. So that's what a triplex is for those who don't know. Uh, so the purchase price was $140,000. I put 20% down. Now for your first property, you don't actually have to put 20% down. Uh, the only benefit to putting 20% down is you see on CMHC. And if you don't live there, obviously the bank won't, like you can't do you less can't than do 20%. Yeah. So you'd have to actually physically live there, which I had no plan because it's so far away and I don't work close by. So I put 20% down. You can talk to your mortgage agency what you could do. Now I'm collecting, since I have three units, um, I have two units that have tenants in there and a third unit that's being that's going to be rented out by the end of the month. The first unit is paying me $487 a month. Mm-hmm. The second unit is paying me $468 a month. And the third unit is estimated to be paying me $600 a month. The crazy thing is the third unit is the smallest out of the three. Um, these tenants have been living there for 25 years plus. So they're really grandfathered in. Mm-hmm. The previous owner never raised the rent on them until this year. So that's what they're My paying God. from like when they just started. I um, had a property manager come to the site. He only came to came to the small unit because there's tenants in there. I couldn't walk him through, and he was saying like the way it was like as is would go for six hundred dollars a month. Mm-hmm. But obviously, I put some work into it. I don't want to boost the number, so that's why I kept six hundred. But I could potentially be making a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And like I said, when we do the walkthrough video, so when we do go down to chat them, we'll like completely break down like yeah. all the individuals and whatever. For sure. But yeah, I mean, if you want to continue with yeah. them. So now. Should I go through the expense and everything? Like no, no, we don't have to go through that. Because um, like in the separate video, we'll go through all that. Okay. But I guess just for the sake of this video, so purchase price um, and like what your strategy is, I guess, in terms of like what you think you're going to be doing with it. So is it a bird? You can sell it, all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, and strategy-wise, guys, at first when I bought it, I literally just wanted to do a buy and hold. I was like, I was like, even though I was into the real estate world, I'm starting to get my real estate license. Mm-hmm. Like we go to these networking events, everybody's talking about Burr. I still didn't know what a Burr was until after I closed down my property. Yeah. So, so do you want to explain what a Burr is? Since yeah. You don't know? So, <laughs> <laughs> so Burr basically is you buy a property, uh, you refinance it. No, uh, you don't. <laughs> you buy the pro- Oh, you buy the property, you renovate it, you refinance, you repeat. There you Essentially, go. you buy it. You, you fix it up, mm-hmm. you take money out of the property, and you use that money to go buy your, your next deal. Exactly. And a perfect bear would be if you bought the property for 20K, you invest in maybe 5K to renovate it, and then you pull out 25K, that would be perfect bear because you pulled all their money that you put in. And I release had the other video on the bear yet? Uh, we do have a few videos of people doing burrs. So with Saman and Cam, they were potential burrs, but they ended up flipping it regardless. Okay. If you guys are confused about what a burr is, because I know it can be very confusing, yeah, it like, it, like, it took us a while to figure it out too. Uh, comment down below, say burr, and I'll make a yeah, whole like, breakdown yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, definitely put it break. But yo, check out his other videos. He has other investors who like, like they, like they're killing it. So check those yeah. videos out too. Um, you can find it on his channel. But that's what, that's what like, I'm doing now. So again, go back to like, don't overanalyze everything. It doesn't have to be perfect. Your strategy doesn't need to be perfect. Like you yeah. can literally just, I would just jump in. Don't, but not blindly. You need to have the balance. Like I still knew what I was getting to. I had like, I ran numbers. The crazy thing is I'll actually put it on the camera right now. Um, oh no, not that one. Literally guys, like I was, I was running, this, these are, oh, these are, focus? here, I need to tap it. Like these are numbers that I was calculating from like, there you go. You get the idea. But as calculating numbers, I have to make, you still have to make sure cash flows. You might not know everything, but what you know, it has to match what you already know. So I already knew what I was getting into. I knew how much I was going to make from the property, but I never understand other things you could potentially do. So to answer really this question, what's my stretch? I'm definitely burnt. So I bought the place. I'm in the middle of, uh, of renovating it. Like I'm going one unit at a time. Then when the time comes, I'm going to refinance and take that money and put it into the next deal. And that's, yeah. So. Yeah, and this again, if you guys are new to real estate investing, that probably just sounded like a lot of craziness to you. Again, if you do have any questions, drop them down below. For Either sure. myself or Umar will answer them. For and sure. I think, Umar, you also did a video breaking down your deal as well, right, on your yeah. YouTube channel. So if, if you guys want, go check that out. I'll link down Umar's stuff down below. Um, and other than that, Umar, your, like, I'd say your big tip as into how, to, how you bought your property at the age of 21, what would you say is the most important tip or most important thing you've done is? Most important thing is your surroundings, guys. Because when I was younger, my surroundings are not who I hang out with now, right? <laughs> because when you're around people that are not negative necessarily, but people that just want to waste their time, just want to play 2K, they want to play GTA online, yeah. that's what they're going to do forever, yeah. right? And if that's what you want, 
hey, that's cool. Nobody's telling you not to. Mm-hmm. But if you want to go out, you want to be an investor, you want to make money, you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to put your place your, in surroundings, right? And the best thing is, because this was an excuse I used to make all the time, is nobody in my area is an entrepreneur. What am I going to do, right? But all these guys behind you can be your friends, right? Literally, you can get Robert Kiyosaki being your mentor just by <laughs> buying his book for $15. Yeah. You can learn from the best. And like I can see there's already so many big authors back here that Radice has learned from. So there's never an excuse that, oh, nobody in my community is doing it like me or doing it how I want to do because you don't need people in the community. You can start online. I've spent hours watching YouTube videos literally before I sleep, when I wake up, the laptop's just playing next to me because there's so much you can learn online, right? Mm -hmm. There's so much you can learn through books. So your number one thing is your surroundings. Whatever energy you input, you're going to export, you know? Like that's just a simple, simple way of putting it. If it wasn't for the mindset shift, I would still be just like my boys playing 2K, studying at college, university, switching your major every semester, (laughs) (laughs) becoming a professional student, right? Yeah. And I mean, like guys, Umar said it perfectly there, like just what you surround yourself with and what you're intaking, like your energy and like all the info you're taking. Another thing is guys, if you don't already know, I have a course called Seeking Success and mm-hmm. Umar actually has a lecture in it. Yeah. And guys, I like, I'm not even lying and Umar knows this too. I've watched Umar's lecture. I shit you guys not at least four times because it's just that good. He talks about the compound effect mm-hmm. and just building habits and things like that. That I think it's like a 25 minute video. Yeah. Like it's an insane video guys. If you guys do want my course, there'll be a link down below. Go get it and you guys can l- learn from myself as well as Umar as well. Sure. Um, and other than that guys, I think that's pretty much it. Um, myself and Umar, we're gonna make more videos like always. We have loads of Definitely. videos together already. Yeah. Um, and th- like I said, like always guys, if you did enjoy, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Thanks and goodbye.